This strange vehicle was handmade for the unique challenges of the Arkhangelsk region in the far north of Russia. It's driving across the frozen ice of the northern Davina River, probably for the last time this year. As spring comes, the ice is already thin. For Alexei Kardumov, it's a typical working day. He is the only practicing doctor covering a vast region. The most remote village he serves is 85 kilometers away. When he's not on the road, Kardumov works here, a small clinic in Rochegda village. He is a general practitioner, but when necessary, he's also a surgeon, an eye specialist, and much more. Around 30 patients visit Kardumov every day, although sometimes it can be as many as 80. He has some 5,000 patients on his books. Last year, the authorities wanted to close the clinic to cut costs. They backed down after protests by residents and staff. But salaries are being cut while the workload increases. Политика государства может не туда направлена в плане сельской медицины. И вот хотелось бы каких-то изменений в лучшую сторону, потому что пока только одни обещания. The nearest hospital is 50 kilometers away across the river. Once the ice melts, the only way to reach it quickly will be by helicopter. But as the local mayor Nikolai Shnukov explains, it's not that easy. Nurse Jana Antusheva is on duty this night for emergency calls. Любая скорая помощь, где бы она ни находилась, доезжать должна за 20 минут. Тот, кто пишет стандарты, они вообще представляют, как вот мы живем, ну, наверное, как-то представляют. Вызов. Скорая. Здравствуйте. An asthma patient is having trouble breathing. After emergency care, the patient is taken to the clinic. Dr. Kardumov is called in, even though he's already worked a 14-hour shift. In the morning, Kardumov decides to take the patient to the hospital, suspecting pneumonia. They're preparing for a difficult trip. The ice is now too thin to drive across, so they'll find another way. The 40-kilometer drive takes one and a half hours. But this is the most dangerous part, a rickety makeshift bridge across the icy water. Kordumov goes first. The patient follows him, carrying a bag with clothes and even bed linen for his stay at the hospital. After transferring the patient to the district hospital vehicle, Kardumov returns home, once again crossing the melting ice. He'll probably make the same trip over and over again in the coming days.